Good evening, class. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. How are you? Great, and you? Great, wonderful. I am good, teacher. Excellent, I like that. I'm happy to hear that. Yes, um, how was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Or not so, not so good? Not so good because I worked. <laughs> oh, I worked. Oh, you worked? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah, that's not good. Whenever you work on the weekend, it, it feels so short. Very, very short weekend. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, but well, um, but, you, but you didn't work all weekend, right? You only worked one day? Only one day? Or, or did you work uh, the, on sa Saturday and Sunday? Two days. Both days, wow. Yep. Wow, that's, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot, yes. But do you, do you have like on, on during the week, you have off or, or what? Like do you, during the week, you have a day that it's off? No. No? So you no. seven days a week? Yes. Wow. That is tough. Wow. <laughs> My respects to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. Wow, okay. Well, well, hopefully um, you will you will learn lots of English and uh, be able to work less hours. <laughs> right? That's that's what we hope for. Because um, when you have when you know English, you have more opportunities, right? Right or no? Yes. Yes, right? <laughs> That's the idea. Good, good. Okay, well guys, um, I don't want to waste too much time. So I'm going to go directly to the uh, attendance. Um, como siempre, les recuerdo que si me pueden ayudar ahí con sus camaritas y no solamente para encenderlo cuando cuando decimos presente, sino que en todo momento, porque acuérdense que en eso hemos quedado, ¿verdad? Eso es, eso es la, el compromiso que cada uno de ustedes adquirió, ¿verdad? De, de regirse por las, uh, los requerimientos de INSAFORP y entre ellos está el mantener la cámara encendida en todo momento. Entonces, eh, por favor, les, les pido que me puedan colaborar con eso. ¿Ok? Okay, so we're gonna start the attendance. Um, Alejandra. Alejandra. No está Alejandra. Okay. Okay. Um, Ana Cristina or just Cristina. Cristina, no está Cristina. Cristina Martínez, parece. Um, Cristina Chavarría. Ah, pues no. Pues no, ok, bueno. Uh, Ani. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Mari. Mari. Mari? Mari. Okay, no Mari. Uh, Carolina? Okay. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Misty? Present. Very good. Herson? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Karina? Present. Mm, very good, thank you. Linda? Linda. No hay Linda. Okay. Uh, Julia. 
Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Marlene. Present. All right, welcome Marlene. Maida. 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 No, no Maida. Okay, Miguel. No, creo que le escuché. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, very good. Uh, eh, Nelson. Present teacher. Very good. Norma. Present teacher. Very good. Olga. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Rafa. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Senaida. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie. Argelia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Nancy. Thank you. Nancy. Nancy. No, so Nancy. Okay. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Karen. Present. Okay. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. Uh, Suleima Melgar. Suleima. No está Suleima. Okay. Um, Carla. Present. Carla. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, Carla. You will bet Alexis. Okay, very good. Uh, voy a, a revisar nuevamente que no me haya, no se me haya escapado alguien. Um, we have eh, Alejandra, um, Cristina, Mari. Linda, Mayra. Present. Ah, okay. Welcome, Mayra. Nancy, Juan Carlos, y Sulema Melgar. Okay, muy bien. Creo que esos son todos los, los que me... Los que uh, no habían... No había podido... Um, eh, escuchar. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I hope everybody has had a very good weekend. Um, at least that you've been able to rest a little bit. Uh, maybe not as much as we wish, right? Sometimes um, some weekends are very, um, very stressful, you know, lots of things to do, but you know, at least it's a little bit of a change maybe from our regular um, schedule, right? A little bit of a, yeah, something, a different routine than the normal. So um, anybody did something interesting this weekend that you want to share with us? Did you do anything interesting? No, teacher, I only work because I, I, I have close accountable. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Eh, I see. What about the others? Any Anybody did something interesting this weekend? Go to, I don't know, go to a party, the beach, the movies, shopping? Nothing? No, nothing. No, teacher. 
Mm. Uh, my weekend is very busy because I need to change the schedule. Uh -huh. uh, all the days mm -hmm. begin the Monday. Right. My schedule is uh, 6 o'clock a.m. Uh -huh. to 3 o'clock p.m. But uh, Saturday and Sunday, I need change because uh, I I have more work. Mm. More. You have to work more than normal. Yes. Oh, wow. Mm, sorry to hear that. Okay. All right. Well, um, I hope next weekend will be better. <laughs> okay, good. Excellent. Um, solamente un recordatorio, chicos. También um, hay algunos que um, no se les olviden. Bueno, dos cosas. No se olviden siempre poner su nombre completo, que eh, pues um, a veces puede ser que se nos escape porque um, entramos ya con, con el nombre predeterminado, ¿verdad? Que está ahí, pero asegúrese que siempre esté como, como está en su DUI, ¿verdad? Entonces, la única que, 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 la única persona que se le vale que no esté como su DUI soy yo, <ríe> porque como pueden ver, yo no tengo nombre, <ríe> pero de ahí lo contrario, todos ustedes tienen que tener nombre completo como aparece en el DUI. Y si usted uh, pues está ahorita eh, en uh, calidad de participante como oyente, tiene que poner ahí su, entre paréntesis, la palabra oyente. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Okay. Teacher, Aquí teacher, teacher. Um, I have a problem with the homework uh, to on 11. Oh, pero eso se ya, ya va más avanzado de lo que hemos visto. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the problem? Um, I have two sentences and I don't understand. You, don't, you have two sentences that you don't understand. Okay, what sentences don't you understand? One more. Um, you said 211, right? Yes. Uh, I send the group now. Mm. Did you already send? Ah, oh, okay, right now. Um, yeah, what, what's the problem? I create a sentence, but is incorrect, siempre me la... Well, I don't know what you were putting in number two because number two is blank, okay? But what I know for number five is that you're you're missing the subject. Okay, so when you say wouldn't it be better to let blah blah blah, there's no subject there, so you're missing the subject. Does that does that help you? Yes. Fíjese, dice que yo las uní de una y mil maneras hoy por la tarde y ninguna me la, me la aceptó. Um, vaya, pero me entiende lo que le estoy diciendo, que se le, se le ha escapado el Ahí en, en el, no sé lo que estaba poniendo en la número dos porque no, ahí, ahí está en blanco, pero en la número 5 lo que definitivamente le puedo decir es de que se le ha escapado eh, poner el pronombre. ¿Sí? Porque en la 5 dice wouldn't y wouldn't no es un pronombre. 
Be tampoco es pronombre. Better tampoco es pronombre. To tampoco es pronombre. Let tampoco es pronombre. Entonces, ahí, ahí en una de esas se le ha escapado poner el pronombre. Eso es definitivamente lo que está mal en la cinco. Ok, Tisha, gracias. La cuatro, el, pero en la dos, como digo, no sé qué estaba poniendo, pero muy probablemente algo similar está pasando. Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Perdón, eh, con Sanaida tenemos el mismo problema. Es en la pregunta eh, número eh, dos y la cinco que no. Uh -huh. no, no, yo ya la, yo por ejemplo, ya puse, eh, wouldn't it be better to let the manager design, vea, y ya le cambié de una forma, de otra, y igual no me da, y he estado desde el fin de semana y todo el día de ahora intentando que me diera, al fin logré que me ah, diera la cuatro. Right. Otra cosa les iba a mencionar, eh, un detalle. Uh -huh. um, a veces en esta plataforma, sí, es, 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 ok, escuchen esto muy bien porque esto es bien importante, ok. Eh, escuchen esto, o sea, porque si no, les, si no escuchan esto, van a estarle dando duro y duro y duro y no, no les va a dar. En esta plataforma está configurado para que la respuesta sea exactamente como la han puesto. Entonces, eh, una palabrita que esté fuera de lugar, otra palabrita que, nos, que, que está de mal, lo que sea, ya está mal. Pero también está mal si le agregamos o le quitamos un espacio, porque está configurado para que justamente quede como lo habían puesto la respuesta. Entonces, yo lo que les sugiero es lo siguiente. Escuchen esto. En vez de estar digitando la palabra copien la palabra tal como está en, en, las, en, en cada uno de los, no sé cómo se diría en español, ah, pero, okay. ¿ok? Y, y péguenlo, porque a veces los espacios, por ejemplo, ustedes van a notar que en algunos el espacio, hay un espacio entre el, el punto y la otra palabra. A veces uh, no, hay, no hay espacio. A veces hay un espacio entre medio de la palabra, la última palabra y, y el uh, signo de interrogación. Y si usted no lo pone así, no le pone esa, ese espacio, se lo va a poner mal. Ok, o sea, es tan, suena tan como ridículo, por así decirlo, ¿verdad? Que, que, que solo por eso no le va a funcionar, pero la razón es por que está configurado para que sea justamente como se ha puesto en la respuesta original. Entonces, si en la respuesta original le habían puesto el punto eh, con, con un espacio y usted no se lo puso, ahí está. Ahí está el problema. Entonces, eh, no se estén ahí dando duro con eso, simplemente um, copien y se les da la vida mucho más fácil. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Sure. Mm -hmm. Gracias. You're welcome. Entonces intenten eso. Si todavía aún así les está dando problemas, entonces eh, eh, ahí dígame. Pero, pero contrario, um, esto debería de solucionar el problema. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher, vamos a probar, aunque yo ya probé de todas formas, porque sí copié varias palabras, copié en algunas cabal lo de arriba, porque me imaginé eso, dije yo, capaz que esta plataforma está pidiendo, entonces yo agarré las palabras, las copié y igual, no me dio, entonces ahí ya, no, ya, me, ya me quedé ah, Ay, histérica no, que ya no me... No copié algunas, copié en todas. Uh -huh. Sí, que todas, en una de las, no, me refiero en una de las oraciones, yo lo hice y igual no me da, no me da, entonces ahí sí dije yo, no, ya no, ya, ya le di vuelta a todo. Y ya no acuérdense que otras son preguntas y cuando hay preguntas, sí. tenemos que hacer. Exacto, el cambio. Ah, Ajá. Tenemos que hacer el, sí. el, uh, tenemos que hacer el um, la estructura first, cambia. Inversion, ok. Así es, okay. así es, tomando en cuenta todo eso. <risa> Correcto, pero... También no se preocupen demasiado por esa, esa tarea, porque dos cosas. Uno, no hemos llegado ahí. Esa es la primera. No hemos llegado hasta ahí. 
O sea, yo no he explicado nada de este tema, entonces, pues, muy probablemente, pues, muchos van a estar, ¿y esto qué es? ¿Verdad? Y es razonable. Y dos, porque ustedes no tienen que completar esto para el día de hoy. Esto va a ser hasta la próxima semana. Tienen toda una semana para hacer esto. O sea, no estoy diciendo... Teacher, sorry, one question. Uh -huh. In the activity uh, 2.5, yes. the answer is the all the sentence or only the word? 2.5. Um, two... Maybe it's just the word, teacher. Yes, just the word. Thank you. It's just the word. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Okay. It is just the word. And, ojo con esto. Le, le voy a dar un, un tip. No pongan ca mayúsculas. No capital letters. Porque si le ponen capital letters, capaz no le va a tomar. Correcta. So. Okay. Okay. So, today, today, uh, Monday, we finish, um, we finish uh, week number two. So because we are finished week number two, you have to have finished up to homework 2.8. 2.8. Next week, you will have completed 2.11 and 2.14 and the um the midterm para la próxima semana es el midterm entonces ahorita solo concéntrense son tres ejercicios nomás 2.2 uh, 2.5 and 2.8 that's it okay okay teacher okay va excellent okay so what we're gonna do is Um, we are going to start. So since we, ah, y gracias chicos por, um, por decirme todo eso um, en clase. Es importante que, que lo discutamos y todo en clase, ¿verdad? O, o lo pueden también poner um, en el grupo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí, no, no, no dejen las cosas a último momento, ni, um, ni pues sí, Uh, ni nos traigamos ahí de hacer preguntas porque después estamos a último momento que no hay o que hacer, no me da esta respuesta y eh, ya, ya el último día de, de clase estamos que, ay, no sé qué hacer, me estoy desvelando, no, no hay o que hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, háganlo con tiempo, uh, no tienen que hacerlo, con, o sea, no es que tienen que adelantar la, terc a la tercera semana, no. Pero hagan las cosas a tiempo, pregunte cuando tienen que preguntar y así se les puede ayudar a tiempo. ¿Ok? ¿Got it? Got it, teacher. Ok. Good, good, good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, so we're going to start with our PowerPoint. Um, let me see. I'm going to ask you to tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. No? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Uy, espera un momentito. ¿Dónde se me fueron ustedes? Ahí está. Okay. Good. Okay. So, how to use adverbs and transition expressions. Okay. So, this is um, uh, your uh, facilitator, Joseph Guerrero, intermediate one, class number 10. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be discussing these questions with a, with a partner. Do you ever meet difficult customers? 
In a small group in your assigned room, choose three of the situations below. List and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Use sequence vocabulary, okay? Um, so what you're gonna do right now, you're gonna choose three of these situations. The first situation is a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time, okay? Has this ever happened to you? I mean, not that, that you serve the customer, but have you ever had food that was not delivered on time? You understand delivered on time? Yes, no? Mm. Yes, it's Okay, good, good. All right. Please tell me, díganme, si algo no está claro, si alguna palabra no le entienden, díganme, porque um, después, como le, le decía anteriormente, después entro los grupos y están, ¿y qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? Es que yo no entendí, y tú entendiste, no, yo tampoco. Entonces ahí estamos, ahí empezamos ahí con, con eh, dando vía, ¿verdad? Entonces pregunten eh, ahorita si hay una palabra, algo que no han entendido, con gusto, aquí estoy para ayudarles, ¿ok? All right, so a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. So it was late, late food. Number two, a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees, okay? So eh, imagine you are the manager, okay? And you have employees, like you have the waiters, the cook, and everybody else. And... Um, one of the customer was aggressive, right? Maybe um, saying not nice things or even swearing. Do you understand the word swearing? Swearing? Do you understand swearing? Mm, no teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Swearing, okay. Swearing, not sweating. Don't confuse it with sweating. Sweating is sudando, okay? So that, do not confuse, this is swearing. Vistiendo? No, swearing with an S, swearing. Swearing. Uh -huh. I don't know. You don't know, anybody know? Swearing? No. No? No. Swearing is like a, Diciendo malas palabras. Okay. So, so maybe one of the customers was aggressive and they were swearing. Okay. That could happen. Okay. So uh, another situation is a customer says he found a toothpick. Do you understand what a toothpick is? No. Do you know toothpick? Um, Palillo. Uh -huh. Toothpick, you can use toothpicks to take things from the middle of your, of your teeth, you know, so um, to clean your teeth uh, from a uh, food that is left in your teeth, right? Or you can use toothpick to put food together, like a sandwich, for example. Yeah? Do we understand toothpick? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, good. So a customer says he found a toothpick in his food, inside of the food, and that he will not pay for the food. No. So he says, no, I found a toothpick. Mm -mm, I'm not paying for the food. Bad service. I'm not paying. Okay, so no money for me. Next situation is a customer is calling upset. You understand the word upset? Decepcionado. Mm, more than decepcionado. Molesto. Molesto es. Exactly, molesto. So a customer is calling upset. Oh, they're, you know, maybe they're not super angry, but they, they're not happy. Not happy customer. 
because he received the wrong delivery order. So maybe, may imagine that it's a pizza, okay? And the person ordered a pepperoni pizza and they didn't get pepperoni. They, get a, they got a Hawaiian pizza. So they're mad, they're very mad because, or they're upset because they don't like pineapple and they don't like Hawaiian pizza. They want pepperoni pizza. So they call upset. And a, custom, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Do we understand cashier? Cashier. Yeah, okay. So the cashier is too slow. So the cashier is like doing things oh, very slow and taking time, okay? So those are five situations. Have, have these situations happened to you personally? Have these situations happened to you personally? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, just number teacher. one. Number one. Number one, yeah. Yeah, that's very common, unfortunately. Any other situation? Have you ever seen a situation? For example, number two, have you ever seen a customer that is aggressive to one of the employees? Yes. Yeah? Okay, okay. So that could happen too, right? Have you ever found a toothpick in your food? Have you found a toothpick in your food? No. No? Never? No. No? Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Mm. Have you received the wrong order? So you call for delivery and you received the wrong order. Has that ever happened to you? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. And a group of customers is going to upset because the cashier is too slow. This has a, this happened to you? The cashier is too slow? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. I think that have that does that is another one that's very common, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, so what you're gonna do is in small groups, okay, so about three or four people, you're gonna choose three, three of these situations. In total, there are five, but you're gonna choose three, okay? So it can be one, two, three, or one, three, four, or two, three, five, for example, okay, whatever. Listen, describe five steps that you can use to deal with a difficult customer. So imagine, you are the, the boss, the owner of the restaurant. What five things do, can you do? And you can use sequence vocabulary. For example, you can say first, blah, 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 blah. Then, blah, 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 blah. After that, blah, 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 blah. And um, finally, blah, 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 okay? So you can use sequence vocabulary. Remember, this is what we learned last class, right? So I'm gonna write this down. I think you remember, but you, so just, um, you can say first, okay, then after that, um, finally, and even though it's not, it's not in the book, but I can give you other ones. For example, um, we can also say second. Okay. Uh, we can also say um, later. Okay. So those are some that you can use. Okay. Questions about this? 
Do we understand the assignment? Yes. It's clear? Yes, teacher. teacher. Yes. We're we just going to choose three of, the, of these or just one? No, three. Okay. Three of these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three from the five. Two that you're not going to choose. Only two are eliminated. Three you're going to do. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that clear? But remember to use this vocabulary. Okay. Is that claro como el agua? Mm, no, teacher. No? Uh, teacher, uh, we need to write uh, around three or five sentences uh, for the experience and use the vocabulary. Okay. Five steps, not three, five steps. First, do this. Then do that, later do that, after that do this, finally do this. So you're going to say what to do to deal. Remember deal? We saw this vocabulary last week. What is deal? Tratar. Uh -huh. Tratar. Okay. So how can you deal with that difficult customer? So this is a difficult customer, right? What are you going to do as the manager of the restaurant, as the owner of the restaurant to be able to solve the problem? Okay? Okay. Yes, it's clear? Teacher, yes. Teacher. yes. Uh, the question is: uh, discutir los cinco pasos, first, second letter, then after that, finally. Con, con estos, ¿cómo le puedo explicar lo que está ahí en el What? cuadrito blanco? The situation. Con eso, ajá. Right. Yes. Con esas situaciones vamos a usar los, los, los cinco pasos. So you are going to choose. Any three, maybe you want to choose number one, number four, and number five, example, okay? Or maybe you want to choose number three, number two, and number four, okay? Or maybe you want to choose number three, four, and five, okay? You choose three. Five steps. Tres de esos. Okay. Five steps for number three. Five steps for number four. Mm. Five steps for number five. For okay. Eight. De, for de eight. esos tres, vamos a usar los cinco pasos. But remember, try to speak to me in English, okay? Yes, you're going to choose three situations. Each situation, for every situation, you have to have five steps, okay? So if you choose number three, five steps for number three. If you choose number four, five steps for number four. If you choose number five, five steps for number five. Thank you, teacher. Okay, is that clear? No, teacher, I'm sorry. But what do you understand? Tell me, tell me what you understand. Um, I select one sentence. It's okay? No. You no. select three, three situations. Yes, 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 three situations. But for example, I select the number three. Aha. ¿Qué voy a hacer con eso? Five steps. You understand steps? What are steps? What are steps? 
pasos. Pasos. Okay. So five steps to solve the problem. Imagine you are the imagine you are the manager of the of the restaurant. It's your responsibility to solve the problem. This is a situation, not a good situation. What okay, are you okay. going to do to solve the problem? Okay. For example, uh, I use the first uh, steps for the solution to the guest or to the client. Can you repeat again? Que de esa oración voy a seleccionar estos cinco y voy a tratar de darle manejo o solución a la queja. Yes. That is correct. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have to use this vocabulary. First, second, later, then, after that, finally. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Is everything clear for everybody? For me, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. good, you're welcome. What about the others? Is clear for everybody else? Yes? Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo dicen? Hable ahora. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh, okay. Speak now or silent forever. Yes. <laughs> Actually, in English, we say, the, in English, the, the saying is, speak now or forever hold your peace. Mm -hmm. Speak now, hable ahora, or forever hold your peace, o para siempre sostenga su paz. So in other words, so forget about it. Okay. All right, so we're going to go into our groups. Now that we understand this, eh, I'm going to sign you into groups of three or four. I'm going to try to make it... Um, I'm going to try to make it three, three or four. And um, I'm going to give you, I think that might, this might take you a bit of time. So I'm going to give you 12 minutes. Is that good? You think we can do it in 12 minutes? Yes? Okay, let's try that. Okay, let's open up the groups. Marlene? Marlene? Marlene, can you hear me? Marlene, are you there? In my, in my case, should a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too 
slow. Number five. Okay. One también. A uh, customer is angry because he's full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bus delivery on time. One. Mm. Number four. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Mm, no. A uh, customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Number two. Mm -hmm. Number two and number five. Okay. Five to five. Okay. Um, the solution and number one, yes, what could be. Mm. A customer is angry because uh, una solución pues ¿cómo se puede decir? No, pero es, pero es que como es que no le llega a tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces sería... Fierce. Mm -hmm. Sería como ask for, uh -huh. ask Veamos. for information, personal information, o a nombre de quién está el pedido. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ask for personal information of clients. para rastrear el motivo del atraso. Okay. Uh -huh. 
que va a los requests customer information o como ustedes dicen también. Okay. Para rastrear el pedido por 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 track track, track, track. Como tercer como tercer punto podría ser solicitarle al cliente una espera uh -huh. en lo que se soluciona. <coughs> Ahí se trabó mi teléfono. Ajá, pues el request de client time. Request es pedido. No. Bueno, yo no tengo cómo solicitar o, o cómo... Ah, sí. Pedir un... Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Este es el problema de que eh, la comida no está a tiempo. Bueno, eso sí. Pero... Bueno, sí, vea. A menos que haga el pago en línea, o sea, con tarjeta. Bueno, digamos. Verificar la orden a la hora de salida. Podría ser. Later, uh, when the order is ready to, to deliver. Uh -huh. uh, before the order is ready to deliver, we recheck the order. ¿Cómo le quedó a ustedes? Todo o oh, desde ahora ah, sí de corrido todo. Ah, todo. Okay. First, confirm the order. Second, follow up the order. Later, when the order is ready to deliver, recheck if the order is correct. Before we check. Uh -huh. Igual. Okay. Verificar la orden antes de ser enviada, ¿verdad? Antes uh -huh. de ser entregada. Uh -huh. Más tarde se iba. Sí. Sería como entonces verificar el tiempo de entrega, ¿verdad? Eso. Uh -huh. Calcular el tiempo de llegada de la persona que sale a la. Podría hacerlo. Ajá. Ajá. Eh, sería con after that. No, con. Final. Con bueno. No, no con... porque son okay. cinco. Mm. Ahorita vamos o den. con. O den. Den. den sería. After that o den. Uh -huh. Den. Den podría ser la siguiente. Sí, den. Den number three is step three. Later, talk to the chef about why he delay. Okay. Number four, let me see. Mm. Okay, let me see. Number four. And then. For it, the customer more combo. Trata al cliente con más amabilidad. Ok. 
Gerson ¿Sí? está compartiendo pantalla porque no, no puedo ver. Teacher, podemos compartir pantalla. I believe you can, yes. You, um, you can try in the at the bottom. Um, there, there is a bar at the bottom. Uh -huh. I have a message in the application la function to share the screen. Okay, just give me a second. Let's see if I can. Ese, ese es el, el, la notificación que le da. Sí, permítame. Sí, siempre me la da. El anfitrión me habilitó la función de compartir las pantallas de los participantes. Ok, déjenme ver y ya regreso, ok. Ok, gracias. Ok. Sí. Ah. Okay, can you try now? Okay, sí. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, go ahead. Great. Okay. And uh, let me see this number four and number five. Uh, number five. Let me see the chat. Paguen the after that the pays offers offer after that after that the pay o vamos a ofrecer el Integro del dinero. Puede ser ese uh -huh. final. Finally. Uh -huh. um, the money. O oh, finally. Finally, mejor. Ya sería el reintegro del dinero. El found. The money. Refund of money, dice. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Refund yeah. of money. Ok. El tercero era... Siempre ofrecer las, las disculpas, vean, en el tercero. Sí. First, Apology. For the found object, no, for the object for, found. Yo encontré for the, for the, for the delight. No sé qué significa eso. ¿Cómo es la palabra? For the delight, D E L A Y. Delight, ¿qué es eso? Delight. Por la demora. Ah. First, I pray you for the delight. 
Ah, que usted puso atraso. Ajá, uh -huh. que yo puse por él. No, yo puse por él. Por el inconveniente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Puso usted. Ah, yo puse por el atraso. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Let her, let her call the manager. Hi, oh. girls. Um, una pregunta. Vale. Solo están dos de ustedes y creo que originalmente sí. habíamos cuatro. ¿Qué pasó? No, habíamos tres, pero no sé qué pasó. Ah. Cuando vimos, solo estábamos las dos. Ah, ok. Conecto, <risa> quizás. Who was with you? ¿Quién estaba con ustedes? Eh, Silvia. El primer nombre es Silvia. Ok, ya regreso. Yes, Silvia Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Uh, leader. Repetido o reincidente. Change of office or a reform of money. After the client is calm. Finally, the food is brought or the money is found. Así le quedó a Sería offer topping exchange. Así sería. Yeah. <laughs> Only that is <laughs> No, I need to listen to the sentence for Marlene. Uh -huh. Tell me. <laughs> but, but Rafa is not listening too short. Are, are we finished or do you need more time? More I need time. I, I, I let's need more time. You need more time. Oh no, only only one or two minutes. One or two minutes, okay. Sounds good. Okay, you have two minutes. Two okay. minutes, thank you. Okay, it's my turn. And uh, number four, a customer is calling upset because he received to work to run the link. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if, if after that, as for uh, as, as the customer, if he wishes, to withdraw. Huh? Y siempre desea su pedido, sería. Ask the customer. Ask customer. Uh -huh. If he always wants his order. If he always. Always? Want his order. Okay. Va a asustar con el cliente si siempre desea su pedido. Y ahí que puede ser. Y luego sería eh, es, eh, esperar la, la, la respuesta del cliente y, y pues enviarle su pedido. Vea. No sé, algo así. Si la respuesta es positiva, procede no. con el cambio. Si, si es negativa, pues con la devolución vea, de, del dinero porque uh -huh. ya debería haber pagado. Excelente, Gordita. Traduzca, Angel. First. 
verify it. Mm -hmm. What is the problem at the table with the client? Client. Okay. Account manager gives the instruction to produce letter. Letter. Ese later, ¿cómo es? Later the manager. Eh, más tarde. Yo por eso voy ahorita. Más tarde es eh, como. En segundo dijimos que el gerente le da indicaciones al empleado. Ajá, más tarde. Me quedó? Sería. Ah, oh, permítame. Second, the manager give the instruction to the employees. Disculpen que mi pronunciación no es tan buena. <risa> Entiendo, pero no es tan buena. Ajá. Así me quedaba ahorita, de iba a leer más tarde, pero. Ah, pero. No, sé no era after that. Como ustedes quieran. Es que como son cinco, dicen, vea. Ajá. Ajá, se podemos dejar ten, ten, y luego after that y finally. Ajá. Digo yo, vea, pero si quieren cambiar. Uh -huh. No, 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 está bien. No, está bien, Dave. Ok, later. Más tarde, ¿qué más le podemos poner? Más tarde. Eh. Como que podemos ponerle que, que se le atendió, se le dio solución al problema y de ahí podríamos poner capacitar a los empleados, por ejemplo. Le va a tocar finalmente el empleado, lo, el gerente, qué sé yo, vea, o, o el jefe de área, tendrá que capacitar a sus empleados para mejorar la atención y evitar más problemas a futuro. Ajá, o sea, vale, entonces ajá. podemos poner later, ah. como somos los gerentes. Ajá, as más manager, tarde. Later, as the manager. Eh, we will find, como somos nosotras, ¿verdad? We will find a solution to solve the problem. Later, we will find a solution. Later, ask the man. Okay. I say, uh, apologize again to the client and assure him that the problem will not occur again in the next visit. Ok. Y ya se los comparto para que vean cómo quedó. Ok. Number two y el number five. Ese solo es de prácticamente de transcribir, que es el que me envió Olki. Contigo cómo quedó. Finally. Ah, lo que no vi cómo era. Finally. Ah, con doble I, correcto. L. L. Finally. L. Finally. Ok. Eh, ahorita se los presento. Ok. This is number. Yeah. This is number one. The second, a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Step one, third, ask the customer what the problem is. Step two, then ask the client to calm down so you can find out what the problem was. Step three, later give him a courtesy start or drink. Step four, give priority to the customer's order before the other. In step five, finally, apologize, apologize again to the client and assure him that the problem will not occur, occur procrastination again on the next visit. This is the number two. And so we have to transcribe number five. We finish. Ahorita lo transcribe. Okay, we're ready, right? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, hello, teacher. Are we ready? 
almost almost two minutes. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna return everybody back for a moment because I need to take attendance. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, I, I brought everybody back because I know that not all of you are finished and that's okay. But I wanted to um, take attendance because it's way past our time for attendance and um, it's getting very late. So I wanted to take attendance and then we'll see what we can do. Okay, so Alejandra. Present teacher. Great. Um, uh, Cristina? Present. Excellent. Uh, Annie? Present. Very good. Uh, Mari? Present. Great. Uh, Carolina? Present. Great. Christy? Present. Great. Herson? Present. Excellent. Karina? Present. Where's Karina? Present. Ah, okay, there she is. Okay, good, thank you. Linda? Present, teacher. Okay, very good, thank you. Uh, Julia? Julia? Do I have Julia around? Julia? No, eh, Julia estuvo el estuvo Julia al, al principio de la clase. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sí, porque le había marcado que sí, pero ajá, entonces no quería asegurarme. Okay, Marlene. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Mayra. Mayra. Mayra, no? Mm, Miguel? Yes, sir. Okay. And Nelson? Present teacher. Great. Norma? Teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Olga? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Rafa? Present teacher. Excellent. Sinaida? Sinaida. I'm sorry, teacher, present. Okay, great. Um, Suleima Rodriguez. Suleima. Oh. Present, teacher. Okay, very good, thank you. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Argelia. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Nancy. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. No está. Pero verdad que lo había visto, verdad que Juan Carlos entró. No estuvo con ustedes, Juan Carlos, con alguno de ustedes. No, teacher. No, no, lo mencionó en la, eh, al principio y no lo contesto. Ok, no, pero es que después lo vi como que entró un rato, pero no sé. Ok. Um, Karen. Present. Ok, very good. Suleima Melgar. 
Suleyma Melgar. Okay, and Carla? Present. Very good. Will, Wilbert Alexis? Okay, very good. All right, how are you doing? Are we ready now to present? Are we ready to present? No, teacher, can you give can you give us more minutes? How much more do you need? Maybe five or ten minutes. Five minutes. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I can only give you five minutes because we have other activities to do as well. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, so let's, I'll give you guys back. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna open the groups again and I'm gonna give you five minutes, okay? Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. Luego los, los aleja del cajero para evitar el que no regresen y ofrecerles un, un snack o una bebida para entretener. Este modelo, esta, esta, esta mm. parte de acá, mm. eh, una especie de oficina. <coughs> Abajo. Sí. Justo enfrente, en la fachada. Okay. Um, una especie de oficina. Bueno, buscando pero, que... Pero no podíamos usar... Eh, que, de, dos, dos, uh, que el que el dos, 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 no, dos, seguramente solo uno uno pero grande ¿no? oficina y con muebles sillas y demás para poder visitar lo principal es que no tengamos una casa ¿no? tal vez que el, el cajero de cajer to say hey. ya me estoy durmiendo ay está la ticha you, you need you need drink a cup a coffee coffee no coffee no it's later michelle you work hard or what hello did you work too hard marlene yes oh. is 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 because i is my first day in at the gym. <laughs> oh, okay. and then and then I work in, Okay, and then the class. Or... Good for you, Marlene. Excellent. <laughs> Thank so, you, TJ. <laughs> don't don't um. I know that this is going to be a very difficult week. You're going. It's going to be very tiring. You don't want to go back, but <laughs> do it, okay. If you do, yes. Work, the second week will be much more easier. Okay, and yes. uh, then after that, yeah, it will be super. Okay. Just my my legs. Your legs. Yeah, legs. you can. You can take, uh, <laughs> maybe yeah. you can take like a a, a painkiller. Painkiller and but, yeah, please do. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. You can do it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good for you. Are you guys almost finished? Yes, I finished. Wait. Finish. Okay, good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. 
-huh. es una persona que se alenta, entonces sería como que agilizar el servicio. Uh -huh. Agilizar, ah, por eso le digo, agilizar el, 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 el proceso de caja. ¿Cómo se dice? Ajá, ¿cómo se agilizar el servicio a los clientes. Uh -huh. Sería Expedite Customer Service. Okay. Customer Service. Expedite Customer Service. Okay. Sí, así es. Expedite. Customer service. En serio. Are you finished now? No yet. No, I don't. No, teacher. No. Oh, very nice. I like this. Excellent. Very, very good. I like this. Excellent job, guys. This is my Bravo. A group customer are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Step one, first, open a lot of cashier. Step two, after that, talk, talk the, to the employee. Ooh, then, offer them a drive uh -huh. for waiting. Okay. In continue, uh, use the systems continuous to find to the invoice by how and ask for help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finally, deliver the invoice mm -hmm. in, in apology. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Apologies. Only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vaya, entonces la primera sería first apologies for the delight sec second offer that is comes on the next for change y aquí solo finally that if refunds on money uh -huh. Ajá, of the money on money y la three Okay, so some of you are finished, some of you are not. I know that, but we need to continue, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, I, I'm going to give more time to work on that tomorrow. Um, and in the meantime, we're gonna continue um, with the next part, be, excuse me, because I really need to um, um, to continue with the rest of the class, okay? So um, we will see the rest of it tomorrow. Sounds good? Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, chair. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. Um,
and and then tomorrow we're going to present okay so tomorrow you will present in your groups um i would like you to present um one, one situation each person that would probably be the best thing okay so um we'll have um one person present uh, for um, one situation, the five steps, another person presents another situation and their work, okay? Okay, so what we're gonna do, uh, we're just going to actually uh, work a little bit about um, with transitions there. Um, just making sure that you guys understand this. I'm going to be explaining. Um, tell me if you can see. My PowerPoint. Yes, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher, I can see. All right. Um, so we have the transitions here. So just a little bit of review. Transition words are used to connect phrases or sentences. They express sequence of progress from one idea to the next. When these words are used at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed by a comma. So we have first. So example, first comma. Okay, so you notice that we always use a comma here. In English, punctuation is super important. So we have first comma, you have to give options to the customer. After that, after that comma, you have to take, you have to take the payment. Okay. So notice that remember what I, I was explaining uh, to you on Friday, that with after that, we always use the word that. We, we can't just say after, we have to say after that, or you have to be specific. You have to say, for example, after, um, after lunch or after we go home or after the class is finished or after my work, okay? But you have to always say after what, okay? So normally, well, that's why we just say after that, después de eso, okay? So don't, it, it's impossible, it's impossible to um, do this. After, or, or, or better said, like this. After, you have to take the payment. That's not possible, that's incorrect. You can't just say after, you have to say after that, okay? After that, okay? Now, another, another possibility, if you don't want to say after what, is you say after words. And this part here, this, this, um, this word here, or this suffix over here, words, is like a substitute to that. So if you don't want to say after that, or after lunch, or after my job, or after I'm finished, et cetera, et cetera, you can just say after words. But we can't just simply leave it blank. We can't just say after. You always have to have something after the word after. Valga la redundancia. Okay, got it? Does that make sense? Yes? No? Not so much. Okay. So in, in Spanish, you can just say después, right? But we, in, in English, we can't. In English, it's impossible just to say after. Okay? So we can't do this. Or better said. Hold on. Okay. 
we can't simply say after, okay? Or like here, we can't just say, after you have to take the payment. It's impossible, okay? We always have to say something, after what? After that, after this, after my lunch, after my break, after my class, after you are finished, after we leave, after, um, eh, after, after I learn English, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, always. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Up to there, it's clear. Yes? Yes. Maybe we'll be up, uh, before that too? Uh, yes. Or no? Yes. Okay. Correct. Also with before that, it's correct. Yes. Before that, before my job, before going to school, before starting work, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you don't want to say after that, you can use another word. And the other word is afterwards. Okay. You can also use the word afterwards. Okay. Now, afterwards is like a replacement for after that so that you don't have to use another word because the word afterwards is a word that replaces after that. So you can use after that or afterwards. The two are possible. Is that clear? Yes, yes what, is more, what is more common after that? Um, or the both? They're both common. The difference probably afterwards is maybe a tiny bit more formal, uh, but both of them are common. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Teacher, I have a question. Is the same after that and after work? When I use after that or after work? Whenever you want, you can use after that or if you prefer afterwards. Two are possible. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Teacher, yeah. in, in, in this case, mm, no depend the situation for the use after that and afterwards. Nope, because if you notice, the, ver the, the, the sentence is exactly the same. Same sentence. No. You have... Okay. You have to pay, you have to take the payment. You have to take the payment. So it's the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And also the same the same thing is applicable is that you need to use a comma. Afterwards, comma. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, eh, perdón, según lo que le entendí, es que after that, después de eso, y after work, so después, es como más general, o... Ajá, ajá, ya. Sí, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, afterwards is more okay. general. But you have to use after words. After, just the word after, by itself, alone, no. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else?
No? Okay. Okay, so examples. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, let me continue with this one. We have then, okay? Um, uh, just give me a moment. Okay, so here we're talking about, so we have first, afterwards, then, then the register prints uh, the receipt and you give it to the customer. Finally, the customer reclines the receipt and you get, keep a copy. Now in all of them, notice that we do have a comma. So we have first comma, after that comma, afterward comma, then comma, finally comma. Okay, all of them use a comma after. Okay, now examples. We have first comma, he gets home and takes off his work clothes. So notice that first, the first thing he does is get home. Then the second thing he does takes off his work clothes. So this was a sequence of events, this first and then that, okay? After that, comma, he turns on the TV and watches the news for 30 minutes, okay? So after that, what is that? That referring to this, um, to, That is referring to, oops, sorry, let's. Hmm. That refers to this. Oh no, sorry. Uy, perdón, chicos. Okay, so this, that is referring to this above here. But what we're talking about here. Okay. All right. And then, oops. Okay. Um, then we have um, afterwards, comma, he goes for a quick run around the neighborhood. So after what? After, afterwards is talking about what this over here. After the fact that he turns on TV and watches the news for 30 minutes. Teacher, ya no está presentando. Ya no estoy presentando. Ah, perdón. Oh, teacher. Okay. Gracias por avisarme. Okay. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Yes. yes okay. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, so we have first, um, he gets home and takes off his work clothes. So remember that this refers um, the that over here. Oops. Um, the, that over here refers to this situation here, okay? And then afterwards, the afterwards here refers to this situation here, okay? All right, and then he takes a shower. So then, uh, then after going for, for a, a run around the neighborhood, he takes a shower. Finally, comma, he cooks himself uh, some dinner and eats while listening to some music. So there, those are the steps. Notice? Any questions about this? No. No? So don't forget, we need that comma. Uh, punctuation is super important in English. Okay? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, 
I'm go well, actually, let me show you the next slide. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So here we have, look at the box above and, this, and complete the following paragraph, add punctuation where necessary. So how to create an effective training manual. This is, uh, let's say like a small article. And here we have this article here. What you're gonna do is you're going to complete these blanks with one of the words that you think is the best. So you can uh, remember the words are like, uh, finally, after that, or afterwards, then uh, first, okay? So I, I don't think this should be very difficult, so I want you to do this right now. How are you doing? We finished? Finish. Finish. Yeah? Finish. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's see what we can come up with. Um, okay, Herson, help me with the first one, please. First, you have to complete an analysis analysis of the training. Just like that. Only like this, Herson. Coma. Coma. Ah, very so. good. Excellent. Very good. First comma. Don't forget, you need the comma. Good. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, let's say, let's see. Um, Ani. Mm, no sé si me he equivocado, Pam. After that, coma. After that, comma. Okay. No sé, teacher, si me equivoco. Don't worry, that, that, that's what we're here for. We're checking the answers, not because we think everything is perfect, but because we want to check that we got it correct. Okay. Okay, next. Um, Miguel, can you help me with the next one, Miguel? After words, after words. Then teacher, then coma. Oops. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Um, thank you, Miguel. After words, just afterwards. Coma. Very good. Thank you. Afterwards, comma. Okay. And the last one, we'll have a Nelson. Help me with the next last one, Nelson. Finally. Only finally? Dead. Finally, only finally? Comma. Mm. Comma. Thank you, comma. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's check to see if you're right. Number one, do you agree? First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees. Is that correct? Yes. 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 Very good, it's correct. Um, after that, it is necessary to write the content and divide it into modules or chapters. Is that correct? Yes. Sí, yes. Yo, yo solo una consulta. Esto está en una de las tareas, pero en vez de after work, after work tiene then. Uh -huh. Es la respuesta. Correct. Uh, well, it's not that it's the answer. It's just what we're going to say is we can choose. There are more than one answer. Okay. So we can say after that or. Mm. Or then, then, or next, uh, or after afterwards, exactly. So any one of these really is correct. Okay. Okay. All right. So. You can use any one of these three and they would be correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, so just letting you know there's more than one answer. Okay. And over here. Uh, uh, it says here, okay, so after that, or then or afterwards, comma. It is, in, it is necessary to write the content and divide it into modules or chapters. Afterwards, you need to select the man, manual style and decide if, if extra digital content is necessary. Is that correct? Mm. Is that correct? For me, is then. For you, For me is a is then okay all right um this is correct but there is more than one answer yes there is more than one answer what are the possible answers then then and or then what after that then what then comma. Yes, very good. Then comma. Don't forget the comma. And 
later. That. Well, yeah, we could say that. After that. that. So I don't have a problem. This after the. Or. Yeah. Or we can also have after that. And don't forget the comma. We're going to need the comma. Yes, then. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Aunt Ben. Thank you very much. So you can use any one of these. Okay. Afterwards, then later after that. But make sure that we always use the comma. That's what's really important. Okay. And finally, and then we have finally revised the manual and printed. Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Yes, it is. Very good. Yeah. Finally revise the manual and print it. So don't forget, though, we need to have a comma. That's important. Okay. So do you feel you understand this? Or do you feel lost? I understand. Yes, you understand? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, all right, excellent. So um, what we're going to do then in that case, since uh, it seems like everybody understands, it's clear, I'm going to be taking right now the attendance. Um, Uh, Alejandra? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, um, Cristina? Okay, good. Um, eh, Annie? Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Mari? Present. Good. Carolina? Present. Teacher. Good. Christina or Christy? Christy? Present. Okay, very good. Herson. Present. Good. Karina? Present. Good. Linda? Present. Excellent. Uh, Julia? Present. Excellent. Marlene? Present. Excellent. Maida. Maida. Uh, Miguel. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Nelson. Present. Very good. Norma. Present teacher. <clears throat> good. Um, uh, Olga? Present teacher. Um, good, thank you. Uh, Rafa? Present teacher. Excellent. Senaida? Present teacher. Excellent. Suleyma Rodriguez? Present teacher. Excellent. Um, uh, Argelia? Present teacher. Excellent. Nancy. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Karen. Present teacher. Excellent. Suleima. Suleima. And Carla. Present. 
Good, thank you. And Wilbur, Alexis? No, ok, good. All right. Entonces, a un recordatorio que el día de hoy es el último día para completar la, los, um, el ejercicio hasta la 2.8, ¿verdad? Sí, 2.8. Entonces, van a ser la 2.8 dos o tres, no me acuerdo cuál de dos, es el 2.5 y 2.8. Eh, y mañana entonces yo voy a estar mandando el reporte de, su, um, de sus ejercicios, así es que por favor completen hasta, ento, hasta ese punto. Y uh, les leo los, las personas que van para la sesión 1 a 1 el día de hoy, que sería hoy, uy, perdón. El día de hoy sería um, Julia, me quedaría con Julia el día de hoy. Uh, Marlene es mañana, el miércoles Mayra, el jueves Miguel y el viernes es Nelson. Okay, esas son las personas para que tengan en mente. Ok chicos, eso sería todo. Me quedo allí con Julia y nos vemos mañana. Ok, take care. Good night. 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 Good night.